Humanity's urge to explore the unknown is as old as our species itself. For millennia we have looked up at the night sky, wondering what lies beyond the twinkling stars. This curiosity, this relentless drive to reach further, has shaped our history and inspired generations to dream of distant worlds. It was this spirit of exploration that led to one of our boldest and most ambitious missions, the Voyager program. In the 1970s, a team of visionaries and engineers came together, determined to send a spacecraft farther than any before to journey into the vast, uncharted reaches of our solar system and beyond. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 is more than just a spacecraft. It's a testament to human ingenuity, hope, and the desire to connect with the cosmos. Like a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean, Voyager 2 carries with it the dreams and aspirations of all humanity, traveling into the unknown with a golden record of our world. Its journey, which began over four decades ago, continues today, as it ventures farther from Earth than any other human-made object in history. Voyager 2 is now a silent traveler, drifting through the darkness between the stars, carrying our message ever outward. Voyager 2 was designed for autonomy, equipped to make critical decisions on its own as it ventured beyond the reach of real-time control. This remarkable level of independence allowed it to survive and adapt in the harsh, unpredictable environment of deep space, far from the guiding hands of its creators. It carries a suite of scientific instruments that serve as our eyes and ears, enduring intense radiation, freezing temperatures, and the vacuum of space for more than 40 years. These instruments have sent back invaluable data, revealing secrets of the outer planets and the edge of our solar system. The discoveries made by Voyager 2 have fundamentally changed our understanding of the solar system. From breathtaking images of Jupiter and Neptune to the detection of new moons and rings, its data has bridged the ambitions of the 1970s with the scientific realities of today, inspiring new generations of explorers. Voyager 2's Odyssey is a powerful reminder that the quest for knowledge is a marathon, not a sprint. Its journey continues, echoing humanity's enduring hope to reach out, to learn, and to find our place in the vastness of the universe. Voyager 2's mission took advantage of a rare planetary alignment, allowing it to slingshot from Jupiter to Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. At Jupiter, it revealed the dynamic Great Red Spot, discovered new moons, and showed us the planet's faint rings. Saturn's encounter brought unprecedented detail of its rings and moons, revealing complex structures and dynamic interactions. Voyager 2 then became the only probe to visit Uranus and Neptune. Uranus appeared as a tilted, blue-green world with a strange magnetic field. At Neptune, Voyager 2 discovered the great dark spot and supersonic winds, and glimpsed Triton's erupting geysers. Each flyby transformed our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 2's grand tour was a cosmic game of billiards, forever changing planetary science. After completing its historic planetary tour, Voyager 2 set its sights on a new frontier, interstellar space. No longer bound by the gravity of the planets it had visited, the spacecraft began a journey into the vast, uncharted regions beyond our solar system. This phase of its mission would push the limits of human exploration farther than ever before, venturing into realms where no spacecraft had gone before. As it traveled outward, Voyager 2 studied the sun's protective bubble, known as the heliosphere. This immense region, created by the solar wind, acts as a shield, protecting our solar system from the harsh radiation and energetic particles that fill the galaxy. By measuring changes in the environment, Voyager 2 helped scientists understand the true extent and nature of this invisible barrier. In 2018, after more than 40 years and billions of miles, Voyager 2 finally crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. This moment marked humanity's second direct entry into the space between the stars, a region filled with mysteries and new discoveries. Voyager 2 became our first functioning probe to directly sample the interstellar medium, the thin mix of gas, dust, and cosmic rays that exist between star systems. Its scientific instruments measure plasma waves, magnetic fields, and high-energy particles, providing data that had only been theorized about before. These measurements have confirmed long-standing theories about the structure and behavior of our solar system's outer boundary, while also revealing unexpected phenomena that challenge our understanding of space. 
Despite the harsh, freezing conditions and its dwindling power supply, Voyager 2 continues to send back valuable data. Its robust engineering and careful planning have allowed it to survive in an environment far more extreme than anything encountered before, making it a triumph of human ingenuity and perseverance. Communicating with Voyager 2 is a remarkable feat in itself. NASA's Deep Space Network, a global array of giant radio antennas, must track the spacecraft's faint signals, which take nearly 17 hours to travel across the vast gulf of space and reach Earth. The information Voyager 2 sends is priceless, offering humanity its first direct glimpse into the galaxy beyond the sun's influence. Each transmission expands our knowledge of the universe and our place within it. Together, Voyager 2 and its twin, Voyager 1, serve as our scouts in the Milky Way, mapping the boundaries of our solar neighborhood and helping us understand what lies beyond as they continue their silent journey among the stars. Attached to Voyager 2 is the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sights and sounds, carefully crafted to represent the diversity and wonder of our planet. This golden disk, affixed to the spacecraft's side, is more than just a scientific artifact. It's a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean with hope and curiosity. Curated by Carl Sagan's visionary team, the Golden Record contains 115 images that capture the beauty and complexity of life on Earth scenes of nature, architecture, and human relationships. It also features greetings spoken in 55 different languages, from ancient dialects to modern tongues, each one offering a simple hello to any being who might one day listen. The record's musical selection is equally rich, spanning from the timeless compositions of Bach to the energetic rhythms of Chuck Berry, reflecting the vast spectrum of human creativity. The record's purpose is deeply symbolic, a greeting card for any intelligent life that might find it, saying, this is who we were. Etched onto its surface are instructions, mathematical diagrams, and universal symbols, designed to help decipher its contents, no matter who or what discovers it. The odds of the golden record ever being found are almost unimaginably small. Voyager 2 won't pass near another star for 40,000 years, drifting silently through the vast emptiness between the stars. Yet its journey is a testament to human imagination and our desire to connect, even across impossible distances. But the act of creating the record made us reflect on our identity and legacy. It forced us to ask, what does it mean to be human? What stories, images, and sounds best capture the essence of our world? The Golden Record is a declaration that our culture, our science, and our dreams are worth sharing, even if the only audience is ourselves. It's a celebration of our achievements and a reminder of our shared humanity. The Golden Record stands as a symbol of hope and optimism, a shining testament to our belief in the possibility of connection, discovery, and understanding beyond our own world. Even if we are alone in the universe, we reached out with a message of peace, curiosity, and goodwill, an enduring invitation to any who might one day find it, to know that we were here and that we dreamed of reaching the stars. Voyager 2's journey raises the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? With billions of stars and planets in our galaxy, it seems likely that life exists elsewhere. Yet despite decades of searching, SETI has found only silence, posing the Fermi paradox. Where is everybody? Maybe intelligent life is rare, or perhaps civilizations self-destruct or communicate in ways we can't detect. Advanced civilizations might use technologies beyond our imagination, like self-replicating probes spreading through the galaxy. If such probes exist, why haven't we seen them? Perhaps they're hidden, microscopic, or simply avoiding us. The possibilities are vast, and our search must remain open-minded. The universe's silence is a mystery we're only beginning to explore. Since Voyager 2's launch, artificial intelligence has revolutionized space exploration. Modern telescopes generate more data than humans can analyze. AI sifts through this deluge, finding patterns and signals. In SETI, AI distinguishes between human-made and potential extraterrestrial signals, scanning millions of channels at once. AI also helps us study exoplanets, analyzing starlight for biosignatures, gases that could indicate life. Future probes will rely on AI for autonomy, navigating and making decisions far from Earth. These robotic explorers will be our intelligent proxies, conducting complex missions independently. 
AI is not just a tool, it's the key to the next era of discovery. With AI, our reach into the cosmos grows exponentially. Voyager 2's epic journey has inspired speculation. Has it encountered something out there? Despite sensational claims, there is no evidence of alien contact in Voyager's data. NASA's Deep Space Network monitors every signal. Any anomaly would be global news, not a hidden secret. AI analyses Voyager's data for patterns, not stories, and has found nothing unexplained. The rumors persist because we long for connection, but science demands evidence. Voyager's real story is one of human ingenuity and patient exploration. We don't need fiction to appreciate its significance. Its lonely voyage is profound enough. What if we did find evidence of advanced alien life? The promise is immense, knowledge, technology, and a new perspective on our place in the universe. But there are risks. History warns that contact between civilizations can be disastrous for the less advanced. An alien civilization might not be benevolent or might not notice us at all. This debate shapes how we search passive SETI, listens quietly while active SETI broadcasts our presence. The golden record is passive, but active messaging is controversial and potentially risky. Before we shout into the cosmic jungle, we must have a global conversation about the consequences. Perhaps the universe is silent because caution is the wisest strategy. Voyager probes are slow by cosmic standards. Future exploration will be radically different. The next generation will be tiny, intelligent nanocraft propelled by laser-driven sails, reaching nearby stars in decades, not millennia. Initiatives like Breakthrough Starshot envision fleets of AI-powered probes exploring exoplanets and sending back data. Each probe will autonomously navigate, select targets, and communicate findings. This is the plausible future of interstellar travel, our robotic emissaries venturing where we cannot. Voyager 2 proved we could begin this journey. The future will continue it with technologies its creators only dreamed of. Our search for answers will push ever deeper into the cosmic ocean.